Get the most complete tiling DVD ever developed. Planning, installation, regulations, maintenance, and more. Buy it today at agphd.com and order your copy of my new book, $100 an hour jobs, lessons from dad, all at agphd.com. Our weed of the week is perhaps the worst weed across our country, and Brian and I can't even agree on what it is. This is Palmer <laughs> pigweed, right? And Brian. see, I think it's water hemp. It looks identical to water hemp to me. I can't tell the difference. Uh, I, I don't understand it, but it, it, well, is, both, pal it is Palmer pigweed, and it, the problem with Palmer pigweed is across the country, it's becoming resistant to glyphosate or Roundup. And the reason why we have a tough time identifying the difference between water hemp and Palmer pigweed is they're both pigweed species, and they both have no hairs. So it is hard to tell the difference. It doesn't really matter which one you've got, though. The control methods are the same. Well, if you've watched the whole show today, you probably have guessed by now that Ignite herbicide does a nice job controlling Palmer pigweed small. If it's three feet tall, it's okay, not going to be perfect. Okay. Well, let's talk about that right away, because if you're letting weeds get three feet tall, you've lost so much yield already, it's <laughs> That's crazy. Right. That's right. You need to be spraying weeds when they're small, otherwise you're giving up yield. So what we would suggest is putting down a good pre-emerge herbicide, or two, or two, and then following with something post-emerge when the weeds are small. You've got to manage this thing well and really watch it, whether it's water hemp or palmer pigweed, whichever you've got, that weed may be resistant to Roundup. And if Roundup does doesn't work and you don't have another plan in place, you're going to be in trouble because the water hemp or palmer pigweed gets up to a foot or two feet tall. There is nothing you can control it with in soybeans or in cotton. Well, let's talk specifics. In the south in soybeans, what many guys are doing is using a pre-emerge herbicide well ahead of planting. Which one? Valor would be a product that they're using commonly. Okay. Then at planting time, using something like Authority or Authority MTZ. So okay. you've got a couple other pre's there. And, and post-emerge, you could use Warrant. That would be the best dual. choice. And then post-emerge, if Roundup doesn't work, Flexstar is a good option. If you planted Liberty crops, Ignite. In corn, it's pretty simple. Balance Flex is the best product down in states where it's labeled. Status, post-emerge. In wheat, we don't have a big issue with this because most products in wheat will get it under control. You could use something early on like prepare or sharpen, pre-emerge, post-emerge, go with maybe husky, wolf pack, a number of different products will work. Our weed of the week is Palmer pigweed and it's a very tough weed to control so don't let it get away from you on your farm. Well that's it for our weed of the week but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.